This video is going to go over understanding the very basics of the Baboon Hawk and won't really go too much into the code because I want to keep this as simple and understandable. But just so you guys know, Baboon Hawks have a ton of code going into them and it's very frustrating. So I'm going to try and sum it up to the most important info for playing in game around them. To start off, some general facts about the Baboon Hawk. Its power level is 0.5. This was changed from version 49 when it used to be one power for each. The maximum that can spawn on a single moon is 15. They only spawn outside during the nighttime cycle. This is the same cycle as dogs, giant, and other night enemies. They take 4 hits to kill. This is different than version 49 when they took 6 hits. And they do 20 damage per hit, which is less than the damage they did in version 49. In version 50, Baboon Hawk nests were added. These look like three spike pillars in a group together with an employee head on them. Seeing one of these nests mean that you will get at least one Baboon Hawk to spawn during the night. If there is no nest, it is still possible to get a Baboon Hawk spawn, but it means another nighttime enemy needs to die. For example, a dog. Baboon Hawks will always sleep and hoard their loot at these nests. Yes, Baboon Hawks will steal scrap you leave out just like hoarding bugs and bring them to these nests. Otherwise, if no spikes exist, the Baboon Hawks will choose a random nesting area. In addition, Baboon Hawks now always spawn in pairs. Baboon Hawks have three phases. A scouting phase, an interest phase, and an aggressive phase. In their scouting phase, the Baboon Hawk will always roam together in a group, following the leader. The leader Baboon Hawk, the Alpha, is chosen when they spawn, and it will be the biggest Baboon Hawk. Baboon Hawks have many different sizes. If the Alpha dies, then the next Alpha is the next biggest Baboon Hawk. The Alpha will roam randomly with his group following it. If the group comes across any scrap, it will take it back to their nest. The Baboon Hawk moves into its next phase after coming across a player. Then when the player is in line of sight and close to the Baboon Hawk, it will be in its interest phase. In their interest phase, the Baboon Hawk will keep a comfortable distance from the player. The Baboon Hawk enters this phase when being in close proximity to a player and having line of sight to the player. The Baboon Hawk enters its aggressive state when a number of factors have been considered. The first is being close to the Baboon Hawk. When you are closer, you are more at risk of an attack. If you are over 23 pounds or holding a scrap item, the Baboon Hawk will be prone to getting mad. Hitting the Baboon Hawk will make it switch between mad and not mad. Additionally, there is a point system that determines if the Hawk will get mad. The Baboon Hawk having a fear level between 0 to 4 or below negative 6 will make the Baboon Hawk prone to attacking. Many factors contribute to this. Holding a defensive weapon like a shovel will add 2 points. Looking within 45 degrees of the Baboon Hawk, if it is before 12 p.m., being in ship, having your health above 30, or being in single player each add 1 point, as well as 1 point for each player you are near. Things that subtract a fear point include looking away from the Baboon Hawk, it being past 8pm, being far from the ship, or being critical health. This point system is very interesting, but can be very difficult to think about in game, so here are strategies for dealing with the Baboon Hawk so you don't really have to think about the point system. When a Baboon Hawk isn't mad at you, it will move in the opposite direction from where you're going. However, when it does get angry, the best thing you can do is try and break line of sight and run away. Think of them like forest giants. Even if it is not mad yet, but not leaving you alone because you have scrap, try to break line of sight. Getting behind a tree, rock, or hill can be very helpful in getting these guys to stop following you. If you can't break line of sight, just try to keep a reasonable distance, and looking away from it helps to not threaten it. If Baboon Hawks are not interested in you, then you are fine. Just try to keep distance and avoid the 0 to 4 and less than negative 6 point range if possible. 
by far my favorite way to deal with them is to have a shovel on hand and just get rid of them if they're being annoying and in your path. Because they only have 4 health, it is very easy to take care of them. The best way I would say to fight them is to hit and sprint backwards or diagonal like you're fighting a mask or spider. When fighting, try to avoid switching movements diagonally or you will run into them. You can use stun grenades or zap gun, but they are most likely a waste of time and resources. Another thing you can use to your advantage is that baboon hawks will always try to predict where you are going to be when they are angry. This means standing still or moving backwards is very bad. If you're standing still, the baboon hawk will go to your current location and therefore hit you. And if you're moving backwards, it will try to run through you and therefore damaging you because it's trying to get where you're headed. You can use this to your advantage though. Just walk towards the baboon hawk to try and get where you're going. The baboon hawk will continuously back up because it's trying to predict where you're going and if you're walking towards it, it therefore is going to walk backwards. Some additional notes about baboon hawks. Noise does not scare them off. That is a very common myth. Baboon hawks move faster in a group or if they are a leader. And baboon hawks cannot grab hives. That's all I have for baboon hawks. Any clarifications or additional information can be found in the pinned comment. Additionally, comment if you have any extra questions and I can try and get you the answers to them. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to join the Discord and follow Twitch and have a wonderful day.